Welcome back to Live Now from Fox. I'm Gina Francine. We do have some breaking news coming through our studios right now. This does relate to the late Tupac Shakur. According to our content partners over at the Associated Press, Las Vegas police have arrested a man in that deadly 1996 drive-by shooting of Tupac Shakur. A long-awaited break-in for a case that has frustrated investigators and fascinated the public ever since the hip-hop icon was gunned down on the Las Vegas strip 27 years ago. Dwayne Davis was arrested early this morning, although the exact charge or charges were not immediately clear according to two officials with firsthand knowledge of the arrest. They were not authorized to speak publicly ahead of an expected indictment later today. Davis has been long known to investigators and has himself admitted in interviews and in his 2019 tell-all memoir titled Compton Street Legend that he was actually in the Cadillac where the gunfire erupted during that September 1996 drive-by shooting. Shakur was 25 when he was gunned down. This arrest comes two months after Las Vegas police raided his wife's home on July 17th in neighboring Henderson. Documents said police were looking for items that, quote, were concerning the murder of Tupac Shakur, end quote. Now, police reported collecting multiple computers, a cell phone and hard drive, a Vibe magazine that featured Shakur, several 40 caliber bullets, two tubs containing photographs, and a copy of Davis's 2019 tell our memoir. In the book, Davis said he broke his silence over Tupac's killing in 2010 during a closed door meeting with federal and local authorities. At the time, he was 46 and facing life in prison on drug charges when he agreed to speak with authorities. He has described himself as one of the last living witnesses to the shooting. Again, this is breaking news here on Live Now from Fox. As they have made an arrest in that Tupac Shakur murder, the person arrested, Dwayne Davis. Of course, we will continue to follow this and give you the very latest as it relates to this case. But right now, let's head back out live on Unfiltered to Washington, D.C. and continue the very latest with this White House press briefing when just before the break they were speaking about that looming government shutdown.